Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. So today sort of got away from me. We had a snowy kind of not so great day and all I wanted to do was lay in bed and watch Netflix, which is what I did. <laughs> I was a total lazy bum today, but that's okay. Okay, it is okay because last night I woke up at like 2 o'clock and I was up from like 2 until about 10. And then I was like, you know what? I'm done for the day. <laughs> so anyways, needless to say, it is now dark out and I don't have my Thrift Store Thursday recorded for tomorrow. So I am going to try to do it without daylight, which is not something that I typically like to do. But I don't want to wait till tomorrow morning because then it will be like really late. I won't get it up till like 11 o'clock. So anyways, sorry for the inconvenience, but... That's the way it's going to be this week. <laughs> so I went to two thrift stores this week. Um, the same one, actually, two different times. The first day I went, it was 25% off day. The second time I went, I went on Veterans Day, and they were having a 50% off sale. So that was super cool. So I am excited to share with you what I found. However, before I get started on today's haul, I did want to talk to you about my Christmas card list. So I am going to start taking names for this year's Christmas card list. Now I did a Christmas card sort of exchange thing last year, but I started it really late and, but I had fun with it. So I thought this year I'd start a little earlier to give you guys time to respond if you want to be included on my Christmas card list. So if you would like to receive a Christmas card from me, check out the description box. There will be the information on how to get your name on my Christmas card list and then receive a card from me. Um, basically, I'm just going to have you email me and then I will email you back, let you know that I got your name because last year um, I had a few people like their emails went like right to my spam and I had no idea that they had sent me an email. So I want to avoid that this year. So if you don't get a response from me within a couple of days, contact me on like my latest video like in the comments somewhere and I will go and look for your email. <laughs> All right. So anyways, with that being said, if you have any questions on that, just leave me a comment down below. I will answer it. I know I'm kind of running through it real quickly, but I want to get into the haul today. So check out the description box if you want to get on my Christmas card list. So let's go ahead and start on what I picked up this week at the thrift store. So the first day was only 25% off day and I found a little goodie bag and inside this goodie bag was another one of these cute little metal cake decorators. Um, the bag was $1.49 with the sale. It came with a few other things, but I mostly wanted it for this. This one is actually in better condition than the one that I found recently. So now I have two of them, but this one actually has a different tip on it. This is more like, um, like a leaf tip. If you have decorated cakes at all, you know that there's like a tip that you use for making leaves for flowers and that's what's on this one so now I thought that was such a cool so of course I had to pick it up because I want to try out the other one of course but now I'll have another tip to try as well also in the bag there was a vegetable peeler and then like some random cake decorating tips that don't fit on the on this little thing so I don't know why they were together but I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but <laughs> that came with it, so that it works. All right, so the next thing I picked up was a little... Mm. So the next thing I picked up was something actually I've been looking for for quite a while, and it is a little mug tree. This is a nice little wooden one. It does need some little repairs because this little guy comes straight off, but he just needs to be glued back on, so that's not a problem. So I was very excited to find this because, I, like I said, I've been looking for one of these for a long time. Um, and I think it would be perfect for, like, Christmas time for, like, making a cocoa bar. I told my girls the other day that a lot of people are, like, already putting out their cocoa bar stuff. They're like, what's a cocoa bar? So I explained it to them. And they're like, oh, yeah, we need one of those, like, right now. So this guy is probably going to be part of that. And um, it's probably going to get a makeover. Can't decide if I want it to be painted white or if I want it to be painted red. I haven't quite decided yet. Well, probably, I don't know. I can't decide. I'll think on that. But I was very excited to find that. So then the next day I went was a couple days later and it was the 50% off sale. So I found a few things. I started with finding things like in the goodie bags and it was a $1.99 and I was so excited because I collect silver 
um, salt and pepper shakers and also glass ones. And I found these right here. And I thought they were so cool. I love the shape of them. Um, and they're quite heavy and substantial feeling. So I don't know. I just thought they were a really cool shape. Um, they are made in the USA. And they are obviously just silver plated. One of them is looking rather rough. He's got a couple chips out of his, um, out of it. And then like this side over here, he's like missing a whole section of his like shininess, I guess you would say. But it's all right. I could just use the other side because they are basically just for display. But I thought they were so cool. And I don't have anything this size or this shape. So I was super excited. It's been a really long time since I found any silver um, salt and pepper shakers. So I was very excited about that find. So the next thing I found was a little hand towel and it was Christmas themed. It was a 99 cents and it has these cute little poinsettias on it. And I just thought this is absolutely perfect for my kitchen because I do a lot of the red and white with little touches of greenery, you know. So this is absolutely perfect for my kitchen. So I'm very excited to have found that and I can't wait to use it and plus I only have like two like Christmas hand towels I don't know why I don't have more and then finally the thing I got this whole bag for was this little guy right here oh my goodness isn't he adorable I think he is so cute um he's plastic I thought he was porcelain so you couldn't really tell in the bag but he's adorable he has no markings or anything but you can tell he's been around a while he's kind of missing some of his paint on his belly and stuff like that. He's holding a cute little bell. I just thought he was adorable. So he's a nice little addition to my little Santa collection. Um, so yeah, I just thought he was adorable. All right, what have I not shown you yet? Oh, I found a mug. This is a Christmas mug. It ended up being 99 cents and it has this cute little red tree on it. I'm not sure if he'll end up going on my mug tree, but I may use him somewhere else and like put like greenery or like candy canes or something like that in him. I'm not sure. We'll see. I think I have enough mugs for my mug tree already, but I don't know. Maybe not. All right, so the next item I picked up was also in a goodie bag, and you guys know how much I love my clocks. So for 99 cents, I just had to pick this guy up, and it looks like this. <laughs> it's a little different than my normal clocks that I pick up, but I feel like I needed to kind of expand because I'm getting so many clocks and I just really loved the shape of the face of this. I thought that was pretty cool. It does have the faux wood grain on the side so I'm thinking this is probably like 70s. I'm not real sure but it is battery operated. It's got the classic little piece of tape on the back to hold the back of the cover for the batteries on it. <laughs> Very cool. Um, it is a West clock and it does have the um, glow-in-the-dark um, clock hands, which I think is pretty cool. So, of course, for 99 cents, I was going to pick this little sucker up to add to my collection. So this next item is sort of a weird item, and I wasn't really going to share it with you, but I think I was will anyways. Um, it was originally um, $3.99, so it was like $1.99, I think. I'm not real sure. But it is a little ashtray, but it is so cute. I just thought it was adorable. And it looks like this right here. It's from France. It's got the Eiffel Tower on it. It does say on the back, um, made in France, Paris. And I don't know. I think it's just kind of like one of those little collectibles that you can pick up when you're there. And I just thought it was cool. It looks cool just like this. So like it's kind of like a medallion almost is what I thought of it. But it's got, you know, the two little spots right here for the cigarette, which I think is kind of funny. But I don't know. I just thought this was cool. And I don't know. I just loved it. So I had to pick it up. So, yeah. And this may be a start of, like, a vintage um, collection. I'm not real sure. I know some people do collect, like, things like this. And I don't know. I think it's pretty cool, especially when they look like this. I think this is just super cool. So, um, yeah. So I picked that up. So... Last but not least, I found two more items. They don't necessarily match, but they do go together in the fact that they are made of the same material. And I have been looking a lot lately at for pewter items. Um, I've just kind of started collecting pewter, and I found two plates. 
Um, they, like I said, they don't match. They were originally a $3.99, so they ended up being like 99 cents. And they look like this. One's much more shiny than the other. And this one's much more like dollish, <laughs> I guess you would say. But yeah, I just thought they were super cool. They're very similar in their pattern. Um, but this one is slightly smaller. Um, this one is marked on the back with just an M and I, and then some numbers and I do not know what the M stands for, but I thought it was cool. Um, I'd like to use these at my, my Christmas decorating if I can come up with enough pieces. And then the second one, ah, I cannot really make out anything. It's got a copyright symbol, but like no name. <laughs> and then it just says made in the, and then USA. So it just looks like this. So I have no way of knowing anything. I don't, not very educated in pewter yet because I really haven't looked into it. So I have no idea if it's vintage or if it's old or if it's new. I just have no clue whatsoever. But I just thought they were cool. So I picked up these two and to add to my collection of pewter items. I think that makes like three, maybe four pieces. The only plates that I have though. So I was very excited about that. All right, so that is what I picked up for myself this week at the thrift store. So now let's go ahead and see what some of my viewers have found this week. First up today we have from Cottage Creations. She found the sugar bowl for $2.99 and then she found the matching cup and saucer for $1.59, both of which are absolutely beautiful. She also found this cup and saucer set with a gorgeous floral on it for $1.59. And finally, she found this hanging metal basket for $1.50, which is so cute. And here you can see that she has her new items displayed on this adorable shelf, which she also thrifted a while back, and it's just a lovely display. Also this week, Sandra found these two bowls, which are very cool, and then it looks like a little set of brown and white transferware, which is very cool. She also picked up this tinsel star, and this little garland it has little red tinsel flakes on it. And then look at this Santa and Belle. I think both of these light up. I've never seen anything like them. I think they're so cool. And finally, she found these two metal um, candle forms. I think they're supposed to hold wreaths as well. She's already distressed them and repainted them, and they are looking oh so lovely. Lucy hit the jackpot with this table for $6. She has actually been looking for a table like this in this size for quite some time and she finally found it which she was very excited about and then she also found the swing arm lamp for five dollars ruby was able to find this vintage lead crystal ashtray which was made in italy and it is absolutely gorgeous it still has the foil sticker on the bottom which i think is very cool and then look at this she found two vintage corningware percolators for $3 each. These are so cool. I'm hoping that they still work because I would totally use these. Myrna found these three baskets for $4.99, which I absolutely love. I love the shape of them. That is so cool. She also found the Meekin pitcher for $2.99 and then the milk glass footed compote for $1.99. Then she picked up two frames for future projects for $1.99 each, and then the Johnson Brothers plate for 99 cents. She also scored by finding these two landscape photos for $2.99 each, both of which are absolutely gorgeous, but this one is like perfect for this time of year, and she plans to paint the frame as well. And finally, Cammie found some great things this week, first of which is this ironstone terrine, which was free from her sister as a gift, and then behind it, there's a winter scene um, photo, which she found for $4.99. She found this hand towel for $1.99, which is so cool. And finally, will you look at these knives? Oh my gosh, they're absolutely gorgeous. They're mother of pearl knives, and she paid $36 for them, which she says was quite the splurge, but she has been looking for them for quite a long time, and... I totally probably would have done the same thing because they are absolutely gorgeous. 
All right, so thank you to everyone who sent me in a photo to share with you all. I really appreciate that. If you would like to submit a photo for next week's thrift store Thursday to show us all what you found at the thrift store, check out the description box. It will have the information on how to submit a photo right there for you so you can follow that nice and easily. And yeah, I guess that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us today. I would love it if you hit that um, thumbs up button or leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. And of course, I will mention this again probably in quite a few videos coming up. But if you would like to be on my Christmas card list, the instructions for that are also in the description box. So check that out. And I will see you again next week for another Thrift Store Thursday. Bye now.